We do have a bunch of best bets, though, in the Jets and the Broncos game. Of course, the uh, both teams now 1-3. and three. The Broncos stealing a win. Nearly fell to 0-4 after. I mean, like, people would be – there would be some – Sean Payton ain't going anywhere because he's Sean Payton and he got a ton of money from the Broncos. Uh, and it's always going to be a thing where, like, Russell Wilson gets blamed. But, man, you go 0-4 with a loss to the Bears and a bad loss to the Bears, and people are just – people are going to talk. Especially like we've got rich, rich owners like that. Uh, now both teams one and three. Jets with a heartbreaking loss to the uh, to the Chiefs, of course, on Sunday night. Broncos minus two now was minus one and a half with an over under forty three and a half. RJ, you've actually got this is the second leg of your teaser. I'm teasing the Jets up to plus eight. Interesting thing about this. This is I know, oh, Brinson, you love your narratives. This is narrative AF with when you get the Nathaniel Hackett versus Sean Payton game that, that we've all been looking forward to. Yeah. Um, so that'll be you know the Jets offense is going to show up and do everything they can to to back their guy here in this game and, and throw out all the stops there. Denver's offense came back and won that game only 311 yards against a brutalized Chicago defensive backs in their secondary. And they were very quiet in that first half until they got down 28-7, rallied back. Part of that was a formal return that helped them out here. So these stats keep saying Denver's offense is very good, and I just watch them every week, and they just seem too inconsistent. It just does not match up with what I'm seeing with my eyes. But the Jets' defense also expected to be elite. They've been inconsistent after high expectations. But they showed up against that solid and played solid against Kansas City, limiting their scoring. Wilson off a solid game, too, facing his historically bad defense here the denver has just been so awful on defense that i think the jets can score here love teasing this number up relatively no, low low total um to get the jets plus eight because i know the backer is going to be wide open no matter who denver's playing yeah and rj mentioned garrett wilson love this spot for him going over 58 and a half receiving yards 24 targets the last two weeks if you looked at his target profile which is his route participation his air yard share and target share it's elite the problem is it's Zach Wilson throwing Garrett Wilson the football but we did see some signs of life last week now he's playing a historically bad Broncos secondary 32nd in EPA allowed per drop back 32nd in coverage grade 32nd in explosive pass percentage allowed uh, drop back success percentage as well I'm talking historically bad I'm talking probably the best secondary uh, or worst secondary in NFL history through four weeks, and they're extremely vulnerable and susceptible to speed. Speed has killed them all year. Garrett Wilson, one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, so I think this is definitely a winnable matchup for him. I think he's going to get behind this Broncos secondary a couple times. Uh, Zach Wilson, obviously not ideal throwing him the football, but showed <laughs> enough signs of life to me that he can get him the ball. Zach, He'll be Zach heavily Wilson, targeted. Zach and Garrett Wilson DFS stacks for the million maker? <laughs> yeah, I'm, th they'll actually be a popular stack probably as far as uh, – no, because everybody's going to be on the Chiefs and Vikings. Like, everybody's going to load up on them. And so it's like, dude, if you have – I mean, if Zach Wilson hits Garrett Wilson for two touchdowns, like, that ain't it ain't that crazy that he could win you a million bucks. Uh, I agree. So, yeah, love, love Garrett Wilson. Also, like, Brees Hall in this matchup uh, came out that there's going to be no more limitations on him. Goodbye to Dalvin Cooks, 2.5 yards per carry. Brees Hall should be looking at 16 to 18 carries per game moving forward. He's looked great. I expect a healthy dose of him as well. But, yeah, I love Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall in this matchup. I love them, too, because give me the Jets money line. I'm taking two risky dogs, so I'm either going to look like a zero or a hero um, after this weekend. But give me all the smoke for the Nathaniel Hackett revenge game. Like you said, RJ, this offense is going to be dialed in um, and trying to defend their coach. And look, Aaron Rodgers is still floating around now. He took this very personal when Sean Payton attacked Hackett. So he's going to be in everybody's ear, motivating everybody. Um, and like you said, a historically bad second. Wilson, I don't know if Wilson, I don't know if legit. I think that they can limit Russell Wilson, um, and I do think this offense might surprise some people. So give me the Jets money line uh, now for Sunday Night Football, the game I'm most excited about. 